Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan presents The Best Way to Solve Word Problems, Lesson 2, Silly Socks. How to Use Close Reading Strategies to Solve Word Problems. First, read the question. My teacher has blank pairs of socks. Some of them are silly socks. Blank of them are serious socks. How many silly socks does my teacher have? You'll notice I've left the amounts out so that we can concentrate on the strategies we're going to use to solve this problem. Second, reread the question. Identify the question, hint, look for the text clue question mark to identify the question. Underline the question sentence. It's important we know exactly what question is being asked. My teacher has blank pairs of socks. Some of them are silly socks. Blank of them are serious socks. How many silly socks does my teacher have? So you underline the question sentence to be sure you understand what information we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out how many silly socks does my teacher have? The next step is the most important step in solving any word problem. You must visualize the question. Make a mental picture of what the question describes. So, you're seeing socks. Some of them are silly and some of them are serious or just plain. And they're not all the socks in the world. They're just the socks that belong to your teacher. Okay, so I have my mental picture. What words will be part of your answer? Use your mental picture to help write the answer frame. The answer frame are the words that will surround the numerical part of your answer. So we're going to reread the question and double underline the words that will be part of your answer. You're going to use your mental picture to help write the answer frame. Using our mental picture, we know that what's important are socks and the socks of our teacher. But what we're trying to find out is how many silly socks. So we double underline silly socks and my teacher. Those are the words you're going to use in your answer frame. My teacher has blank silly socks. Now the answer frame is ready to go. So here's a saying to help you remember these important steps. Visualize what is happening in your brain. Make a mental picture, then create the frame. Next, identify what information you know. What do you know? The whole or total, one part, two parts, write the known information into a bar model or a number bond. All of these, a bar model or a number bond, not only records the known information, but is a clue that helps you to proceed to find the missing part. I will be using a bar model because it's easier for me to draw, um, but any of these models will work. So I've labeled my bar model. There's a whole or total. Some of the socks are silly. Some of them are serious. Now let's check out the numbers. My teacher has 93 pairs of socks. So this is my whole or total amount of socks. So I record it into the whole or total portion of my bar model. 51 of them are serious socks. So I record that into the part that is serious. 51 are serious. If we know the whole and one of the parts, we must remove the known part from the whole or total to find the value of the unknown part. So now we're ready to find that unknown part. There's a lot of different ways that we could do this. Often you're asked to show it in more than one way to like prove your answer. So we're going to do base 10 blocks for our first way. So I make a model of 93, my total in base 10 blocks. I need to take away 
the known part from the total to find my missing part. So I take away 51. And what remains is the other part. And that happens to be the silly socks. So I see I have four groups of 10, two ones. I have 42 silly socks, but I'm not done yet. I have to fill in the frame. I would never hang a frame up on the wall without a picture in it. I have to fill my frame with the answer. My teacher has 42 silly socks. Now we're done when the frame is complete. So anytime you know the whole and one of the two parts, you must take the known part away from the whole to determine the unknown part. Takeaway is also known as subtraction. Here's another strategy you could use to solve. But you're never done until you fill in the frame. The answer is the completed frame. Let's review the steps. First, read the question. Second, reread and underline the question sentence. Third, visualize, make a picture for your brain, then prepare the frame. Double underline words from the question you will use in the frame. Write the frame for the answer. Organize and record the known information into a bar model or number bond. Solve to find the information that is missing from the bar model or number bond. Write the answer in the frame. Here are some more videos from Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. I will link the, these videos in the description box down below. If this was a helpful video to you, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And as always, thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan.